Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here again. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, after my first dabble in Expressi, the watercolour painting app, I thought I'd have another go. And this is the sketch I came up with. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I wanted to play around with the um, brushes to see what it was like to draw with. So let's just get straight into it. <laughs> So I'm back in, in Expressi, giving this another go. Um, I wanted to, well, the first drawing I did wasn't very good, was it? You know, it was just a, uh, a real sort of scribble. This one isn't a lot better, to be honest, but I wanted to see if I could draw with the app because there's no pencils in this app. So um, if you haven't seen the first video, this is all about watercolor painting. I was really blown away, very impressed by the watercolour uh, simulation, the way the paint ran on the paper. You can zoom in and it just doesn't pixelate at all. It just gets sharper and sharper and you see more details. But as you can see here, I'm doing a reasonable job of um, sketching and I'm using the fine brush set to well it, i changed the uh, thickness of it and it varies from zero uh, or naught to i think the thickest i got it was two or maybe three uh, so this is the fine brush i've knocked the water right back uh, because i didn't want it to be sort of um blurred and look like you are painting on wet paper i wanted this to be a sort of a, a reasonable sketch so uh, things that I found with with it it was going okay uh, up to this point and everything seemed fine and I don't know what I did but uh, in a, a few seconds you'll see that the brush changes there we go and it's gone it's got this sort of vertical look to it and um, it made it very difficult to draw with. As you can see, I could barely draw horizontal lines. It was okay with vertical lines, but it wouldn't draw horizontal lines. And I looked at, through all the menu options to see um, if I could work out what the problem was. At first, I thought, well, I'll just crash this bit of stonework in because this effect looks quite good with the brush. And uh, I could sort of try and get the steps in as well uh, but eventually what I did the only way I could get rid of it was to um, reboot was to close down the app and then reopen it again and uh, here you can see I've reopened it again it's it said something about the key that I'd bought wasn't recognized but it didn't stop me using it but uh, that's one of the 50 times I've only got to use this 50 times before I have to buy it and I've used one of them having to do a reboot because of this brush problem. And I don't know if it was anything that I'd pressed because, you know, I'm not going to read the manual, am I? I'm just not going to get the manual out to find out if there is um, an option to change how the brush uh, responds and you get this sort of vertical. I, w I wondered if it, if it was something to do with um, perspective or something that I hadn't discovered. But uh, so maybe if you know, if you know what it is, if you could put in the comments, that would be great. That would um, be very useful for me. Save me having to read the manual. You notice I've thinking the brush up now uh, for the foreground for those steps. So um, as a drawing tool, it, it works. It works really well. But you are using it's like almost doing an ink sketch really it's definitely not, not a pencil sketch but i love the way the brush really is quite organic and you uh when, especially when you put it on the sort of thicker mode with hardly any water in it you get these really sort of dried brush strokes and they look very natural indeed and it and the sketching in this sort of a uh, bit of a tree affair was very easy to do with these brushes it just felt it looked natural and felt natural and uh, I was very happy with it I thought it um, that came out really well so that was 
just using it as a black and white sketch, I suppose, at that point, um, I, I thought I'd better save it at that point. And, uh, yeah, it, look, it, looked f it looked fine. So then I'm going into, I thought, right, I'm going to put some colour washes on. And I've already moved this. If you've not seen the first video, the layers were really weird. You kind of swap layers around so you've only got three layers and you, you sort of juggle them around all the time putting the one on the top that you want to paint on and then when you've done with that move that to the bottom and put another one on top so you, but, but what is really nice you can see that the layer underneath causes that sort of black paint to um dilute and spread out but it doesn't actually affect the layer below it it's just picking up the pigment from the layer below it and uh, diffusing it which is just gives it that really kind of eastern look so this this software if you're not aware of it as it is designed it is designed for eastern painting is the way they market it but obviously this isn't an eastern painting i'm just trying it out in a more um western way i guess but I love the way that you can sort of put multiple colours on your brush and you can sort of just choose four or five colours and it will sort of paint them paint them on. Um, really, really nice. I like that. And you can sample colours off the um, paper just by holding down the Alt key. The key, it seems to me, all these apps are using the same keystrokes, which is great because you don't have to keep learning them. So for this one, you've got Alt to select color. Um, if you're on a PC, it's Control and Spacebar to resize the canvas, Spacebar to move it, and Control and Alt to... Um, I can't remember what that does maybe nothing but and you can also use the square brackets to change the size of your brush i pretty much did most of this just using the fine brush and i was just adding water so i found if you set the water level to eight it just softens it just lets that black ink soften and dilute just a little bit if you put it more than that it's really really obvious and um really is make, makes a huge difference and it sort of spreads out everywhere but if you keep it sort of seven or eight you get this really um soft effect now you can see that i've wiped the water right up to 12 and it just sort of blows that black out everywhere which if you want that effect i think that looks great but if you keep it the the water level to seven or eight um, it just softens it a tiny little bit, which um, was what I was liking. So I then dropped the layers down again and went in and painted uh, another layer over it. So I'm sort of adding more colour to it. And I kind of quite like it, but when I looked at it af after, I felt I'd overdone it. I'd got way too much colour. I'd... Um, sort of blurred out those steps way more so uh, everything that i'm doing now i think was over painting and i actually um deleted it a bit later on some of it i like i mean i like that little bit of shadow underneath the eaves there that i've put in and those windows that bit i liked but it's when i was coming to do the steps and this path it ju I just felt after I've overworked it and I, it's just way too much, way too much. But it was still a lot of fun again. I mean, I've spent pretty much a day off day yesterday and uh, all this morning playing around with this app. I'm uh, really enjoying it. See, I kind of got over excited there i was just thought i was totally spoiled it but the nice thing is i'd done all this on another layer i did save it there um i've done this on another layer so i was able to knock the opacity down and and you can see that the without it it looks a lot cleaner 
and I tried it sort of halfway and then merge it down. But when you merge it down, it gives it the full the full intensity. So I ended up just deleting it. I thought I, I prefer prefer it without it much better. And and then I go in and sign it. And I've discovered that the best way to set up your pen for signing is choose the fine brush, set it to naught, set your water level to about three or four, uh, choose a single colour and go for it. And hopefully um, that does it. And then I just went back in and put a few of those shadows, especially the one under the eaves. I like that. So that had to go back in. So there we go. That is my second watercolour sketch in Expressi. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.